Hello, and welcome to Temple Baptist Church here in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. We're certainly honored to have you with us, our devotional times that we have with you uh, throughout the week. We are in 2 Samuel chapter 12. Uh, when you find that chapter, I think it's going to be very uh, familiar to you. It's uh, when uh, uh, Nathan, the Lord sends Nathan to David and uh, gives him the account, tell, tells him the deal about the young the poor person and the rich person. And really what he's revealing is David's sin that he had committed. He's getting David to admit to that. And so we find in verse 13, so David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. And Nathan said to David, The Lord also has put away your sins. You shall not die. Go on to read verse 14. Let's, let's just read that along with that. However, because this deed you have given great occasion to the enemies of your Lord to blaspheme, the child also whom is born to you shall surely die. And then Nathan departed to his house. And you know, David... We read about him in the Bible. He's one of the most important, uh, I think, characters in, in scriptures. He's known as a man of, of, of great faith. Uh, in youth, we know all the things that he done. He tended his father's sheep. He protected them from bears and lions. He, he killed a, a giant. He played music to calm a, a, a troubled king. He became a great warrior. Then he became a great warrior, a leader. Uh, uh, you know, he led leading countless men to countless victories, and eventually he is anointed king of Israel. And he actually even wrote a, a, a lot of worship songs. And but yet we also know of David's great failure, don't we? We know what he's done, uh, how he uh, uh, had. To, you know, he had took Uriah's wife, Bathsheba, and then he conspired to have Uriah killed in battle. And then, you know, now here in, in this chapter, Nathan the prophet has confronted David about his sins. And then, of course, David, uh, Nathan told David that judgment was coming to his house because of what he's done. We're going to answer for what we've done. And in response, David re repents. The Lord forgave him and spared his life, didn't he? He did that, though David still had to endure many consequences for his action. Just throw that out there this morning. You know, the actions we do, there's consequences that goes with it. And he still has to pay for those. But how do you respond, or how do we respond, when we're confronted with our sins? All right? We're confronted with them. Do you excuse it? Do you get defensive? Do you try to hide it? And I think there's only one right way to do this. There's only one right way to do this, and that is confess and repent. We all have sins in our life. We all have things that we need to confess. We all have things we have to fight against, and only by God's help are we able to conquer those. So, uh, you know, when we're confronted with that, you know, there, you know, there's still going to be consequences. Don't get me wrong. You know, when you make a choice, you got to look at the consequence. But God is merciful and forgives those who humbly acknowledge their sin. When we're confronted with sin in our life, what are we going to do with it? Better confess it. Better ask for forgiveness of it. Be willing to pay the consequences and hopefully learn from it. May God bless you is our prayer. We invite you to our services here at Temple. We meet on Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. Then we have Sunday school classes beginning at 9. Then our second worship service is at 10. Sunday night we have 6 o'clock service. And then Wednesday night, 7 o'clock. Come and be a part of any of all those services. May God bless you is our prayer.